Hello everyone, it's Cypher and I'm back with new project called Evil Duck. This video is sponsored by PCB Bay. More about them later on the video. Everything starts with a little board named DigiSpark, powered by 1885, which gave us the HID capability, meaning it can act as a keyboard or mouse, and with the good script gave us the needed access to the target computer. One of these devices that I'm sure you heard of is Rubber Ducky and of course Wi-Fi Duck. So in this project, I wanted to make one for myself. Of course, too many things went the wrong direction as always. One of the good ICs that is known for its HID capability is the Atmega 32U4, which is used in the famous Arduino Micro. As you can see, years ago I wanted to make a bad USB DIY style, but I completely forgot about it. But now, let's design a PCB for it. For this project, I designed a few PCBs like the one you see, which is smaller than the previous PCB. But for now, let's see what components we have in the base design. First, I used a 16 MHz crystal for the external oscillator for the Atmega 32U4, which is the beating heart of our microcontroller. Next, in order to the user be able to connect the device to the target computer, I used a USB-A connector which will be connected to the data plus and data minus of the Atmega 32U4. Next, I used a voltage regulator for a fixed 3.3V to provide needed voltage to a few of my components like ESP8266. After all the trace routing is done, it is time to send the design to the manufacturer. No project is complete without the right tools and materials. That's where our sponsor PCBWay stepped in to provide essential support for this project. PCBWay is a leading provider of high quality printed circuit boards or PCB and PCB assembly services. To learn more about them, please check the link in the description down below. One of my many problems in this project was the SD card reader, which in my new project I found the problem and hopefully in the next Evil Duck design I will add it to my PCB again. If you follow me on Instagram, I share these mistakes, so you are aware of one of my main problems which was the Atmega 32U4 simply didn't work. So after many hours of work, I found my dumbest mistake. I forgot to connect the VBUS to the main 3.3V. And let's not forget the fact that all these 3.3V should be actually 5V. As I mentioned before, I designed a few type of evil duck, so if you want to see them working, don't forget to subscribe. For this project, I was so busy fixing the hardware and designing new versions that I didn't have the time for code. So for now, let's test it with the famous Wi-Fi Duck firmware and in the next video, with the hardware working fine, I will code my own firmware for Evil Duck. As you can see, when any script runs, the indicator LED according to the transfer data will blink and in the target computer, we can see the script running. Evil Duck project is far from over and in the next video I will be back with my firmware and new design. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I see you guys in the next video.